So KinoMap, uh, we are the main platform for sharing geolocated video. So what means geolocated video? It's when people, they go outside, they record a video, and they record GPS track along the video recording. And it's uh, very like having YouTube and Google Maps all in one. So when you, when you see the video, you can see, for example, a bike icon moving on the track at the same speed. And the two files, the GPS track and the video, are fully synchronized, which uh, is very interesting for, uh, for um, indoor training, because when you are back home or to the gym at the hotel, you can use either the video you recorded yourself or video from somebody else. You download on your, on your tablet. You say, OK, today I'm on a bike. I want to do the, the Alpe d'Huez, which is a famous ride from the Tour de France. And here we go. I have the video. I have the, the track. With the track, we have the elevation profile, because the video is fully geolocated. And from the bike, I will get speed or cadence or power, like on this body bike. And I will move the video and the bike icon on the map according to my own performance. So I really feel like being on the road. And the apps work for rowing machine, treadmill, cross trainer, exercise bike, and home trainer. In order to get the interactivity, so to move the video according to my own performance, I have to detect the, um, on, during the workout, I have to detect my own performance. So we use variety of sensors. If you go on a, on a treadmill, we'll get a stride sensor. On a bike, it can be speed, cadence, power sensor. And when we launch the app, the app will search for any on plus sensor around. So it can be a trade monitor for sure, or any sensor. We detect, we know that it's on a, on a spinning bike, on a, on, a, on a treadmill, on a rowing machine. And we will get, uh, depending on the sensor we use, speed, cadence, stride, power. And we know how much power is required. If you go on the Alpe d'Huez, we know how much power is required to go on top of the hill at a certain speed. So we get all this information from the on plus sensor, and we move the map and the video according to your own performance. On some equipment, like on treadmill, we also use on plus to change the incline. So when you go up on the video, we change the incline of the belt. And on some home trainer, we also do change the resistance according to the elevation profile. So we use the ant, uh, wireless technology to get your performance, speed, cadence, power. And we, when it's available, we do use ANT plus also to change the resistance on the incline. So you really feel like being on the road.